if you're against, and I, and I have a lot of these guys in their mid thirties that are against it, but they have low testosterone. And I'm like, well, I'm sending them reports on all the damage. Yes. Low testosterone like, cause. What is this moral belief of I'm not doing that? Well, all you're doing is going back to a level playing field so you can stay healthy. So this isn't right. you're not competing. Stop that. Right. You're not competing right. for Mr. Olympia. So you right. it's no moral, hey, high ground. Right. You're unhealthy. Take care of yourself. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that's so true too. And it's like, you know, people always, I guess I was always, you know, that's, that's always a stereotype. Even when I first got into this business was, Hey, uh, and at that point, like I said, bigger was better for me. So I was a lot bigger back then. And at that point, like, you know, that's not what it's all about. And those people, majority of those people would never have the genetics to even get to a Mr. Olympia type form. And the other, the other part of it is, a lot of these guys are not doing any of the work they need to do. They're not training. They're not eating correctly. What do you think you're going to get out of it? Even if you took all the juice in the world, all the, if you took a thousand milligrams of testosterone a week, it doesn't mean you're going to get bigger. It doesn't mean it's going to put muscle on you. So you actually have to work to get these things. It, it, unless you put in the work, you're never going to get them. And just because you put in the work doesn't mean you're going to get them either. Still doesn't mean you're going to get so it. There, there's no guarantee on, on something like this. So, you know, what we want to pro preach is, is improving quality of life, right? And that's you feeling good every day, waking up with energy, being able to do your job, being able to be on point in your mind and being able to have a good relationship with, with your partner, hopefully. And, and living a good life, right? And, and that's sleeping better, that, you know, that's exercising, that's doing all these things. Like, that's where, really what it's about. Um, so anybody that ever comes to me, that's, I automatically do that. And that's why over the years, obviously, my priorities have changed and things that I think about changed. And one that, listen, bigger is not always better. Quality over quantity is what I've learned. And that's number one for me. So if I can live, you know, at a, at a decent size, I don't have to be the biggest, but you know, at that point, like I'm going to have the, one of the best packages because I'll just keep defining my package. And that's really what it is to be a bodybuilder, I guess. And you're defining yourself and you're building your own body. It doesn't mean I'm going to get on stage and do a competition either. But I mean, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even call myself a bodybuilder at that point. Like, you know, I'm just a, a health enthusiast.